Hello everyone, Cannon Loy here, back with more Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, and this time we're going to try out the next DLC, the DLC 2, which is called The Betrayal of Comrades, I do believe, and this is what happens when you first lo log into uh, the second DLC, is that it gives you a short summary of the Ambush of Impostors, the first DLC story. Um, I, I guess they they made it so that the three DLCs have like their own storyline apart from the main story that the base game had. So, the team received word of uh, Arvisus units appearing in the field as enemies. When they went to investigate, they encountered Arvisus' copies of GGO players. After a grueling battle, the team managed to defeat the copies, but soon, soon received word that copies of Asuna and Kirto have been sighted. Mystery of the Demon Cave. Well, honestly, I kind of figured that. Um, there is kind of... There, there's this mini-boss in the Demon Cave that says Kirito question mark in the base game, and I guess they just wanted to have you fight him in this DLC, I guess? Um, and I guess... Hmm. Okay. We still can't have Kirito and Asuna. I, I think they said that they were going to like explore on their own or whatever. So what I was gonna do for my party was going was um I was gonna have Sinon, Elizabeth, and someone I've never used before, Dane. And see how and see how that works. Seems like a good mix of Elizabeth has a bunch of debuff abilities, and then Dane is the tank, and then Sinon's the sniper. So I'm hoping that that is a pretty decent mix. And all three characters, I haven't maxed out their affinity for for them. So there's that as well. So where am I supposed to go? Just go to the demon cave. And it even says level 100. Okay, you've you received word that if that the fake Kirito and Asuna have showed up in the mysterious demon cave, head down to the dungeon with Kreia and the others. And then it says this quest can only be done in the DLC. Whatever. Okay. Because I have farmed plenty of the demon cave up to this point, so. Teriska あれはあれで私なのちょっと昔の私だったってだけでそれはともかくな気になるわね偽物はGGOレキの長いプレイヤーのコピーなんじゃないかっていうキリトさんの説外れてたのかなキリトもアスナもGGOを始めたのは最近
he's by himself and fighting in in with melee weapons, he is quite strong, so <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you'll protect me if anything happens. Yes. Well, why not you? You're you're the only person here besides my Arvises, right? Well, it does seem in so far, Korea is in a much better mood than she was in the main story, so. Even though that, ironically, they're not in my party, but... <laughs> I decided to start on the second DLC here because, um, at the, point the, at the point in time that I'm recording this, in roughly about, about a week, just over a week, the, the fourth DLC is gonna come out so I wanted to at least record the other DLC stuff before uh, before that comes out even though that <laughs> at this point in time I mean it's gonna be out probably way long before I actually get to uploading this so oh well now it's just a matter of Remembering how to play, because I haven't actually played this game in a while. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, right? What could possibly go wrong? And now that I'm actually close to the, well, pretty much the same level as the enemies, this place is actually not really that difficult. Um, or at least, it's a whole lot easier than the first time, of course, that I've gone, gone here, but... I'm just kind of disappointed that these enemies don't give more experience than they do being level 90. And I did do some do some massive weapon crafting. Well, I need to unequip it to show the stats. So I did a bunch of uh, a bunch of crafting. So I have plus 11% physical attack, 20% versus life forms and max uh, weak point damage, nearly 13%. A ton of ammo acquired, so I never run out of ammo, crit rate, and effective range. So, I mean, personally, I would probably have different, would rather have different mods than the damage versus light forms and max. But, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, max and life forms probably covers most of the enemy types in the game anyway, but. So this this gun is definitely a whole lot better than before I crafted it. And also I think I leveled it up to rank 7 instead of leaving it at rank 5. So that also helps. Raising the base damage to like 250. 
And, and also, you kind of need that ammo acquired because these guns, they pretty much have the same uh, damage per shot as, as lower rank weapons, but it has a much, much higher rate of fire, so that's how it kind of compensates for that. So this just kind of feels like one of my farming runs. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> like, so far there really isn't anything different. Well, if I, well, now I just got unlucky with facing Honeycomb Maker that it's, I still think is pretty overpowered. If I could even get out of here, that would be great. Yeah, that <laughs> I had like no time to dodge that. And I think that version of Honeycomb Maker is like level 110 or 120. The normal one that's level 78, I think, only does like 1500 to 2000 damage. Well, that guy was doing like 4000. So there was pretty much no way that. I, I honestly don't even know how you really beat him because he attacks relatively fast considering he wipes the whole screen. Oh, I guess I could have just teleported to the midpoint. Well, I'm a genius. <laughs> but he wipes the whole screen, the whole battlefield, and also doing huge amounts of damage. So even if you are a have the chance to dodge his attacks, he's still probably going to wipe out your party members extremely quickly, so he's definitely one of one of the main bosses I have faced so far that I really don't like. Okay, so this is where he is. Time to take like five minutes getting every single buff. Ah. Buffing in video games, I mean, I kind of get it, but at the same time, spending so much time buffing, it kind of gets irritating. Well, that is actually is a good question. She just wanted all the credit, that's what. <laughs> it definitely kept things lively. Well, <laughs> キリトたちも多分すぐに自分の偽物を追いかけると思うのです。そうなのよね。あの二人のことだから間違いなく自分たちで追ってくるわよね。というわけで実感があまりないわ。さっさと偽物を見つけるわよ。これは来ました。キリ
And also, the, this this copy of Kiko can use the uh, can use the sword ultimate attack or sword and gun ultimate attack, which has huge area of effect damage. Yeah, I got him. Also, you o almost always get a sword from him, from defeating him. So if you want a decently ranked sword, you can fight him. I'm just curious to see what the Asuna copy does. <laughs> we just can't ignore it though. And and yeah, he he's definitely tough for being by himself. <laughs> so if we have to fight the Kirito copy and the Asuna copy, that's going to be a big problem. I, I guess this Kirito copy kind of has like the more serious side of Kirito, I, I guess. That, that's what I got from it. Um, what? <laughs> we were saved by my harfuses? Um... Livera? Hmm. La Lavira? Lavir? Hmm. Isn't this the one behind all those incidents? I am. Nice to meet you. Yes. 
<laughs> sure, I can do that. <laughs> All right. Gasp. Is this a a scene on copy? Oh, okay. <laughs> ああ、優しく一発で仕留めてあげようと思ったのに。剣物は勘が鋭い。外獣は特に。仕方ないから正面からぶっ殺すことにしよう。そうしよう。たとえ偽物NPCでも女の子を殺すのはもったいないけどさ
at the very most at this point. Hmm, maybe Fuka would work for this. It's just really hard to know. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll keep Elizabeth in here. What does Silka have again? Pedic shot. Should wait a minute. Oh, HP recovery shot. Okay, I'll try having Silka in there. And then... Hmm. I'll try keeping Dane in here. So, now after spending probably way too much time going through that, let's try going into the Demon Cave again. And hopefully we don't have to fight the Kirito copy again. I'm hoping not. Well, I didn't expect him to do that. <laughs> well, I should have been able to avoid that, but that had a lot bigger blast radius than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Six thousand damage to the face, yeah, <laughs> that's balanced. Oh man. Well, it looks like either that I should level up more, level up my skills, <laughs> or hmm. Even with that, this is a whole lot harder than I think probably should be, because it seems like they have a lot of, well, having an, an enemy that uses a sniper is bad enough, but it seems like any grenades they use pretty much instantly kill you, so that's, that's amazing. <laughs> so, hmm. I pretty much have, like, no tank abilities, so this... So I don't really have anything that reduces damage by very much. I do have armor form 1, which probably doesn't really do that much. Yeah, this is going to be a problem, I can, I can say that much. Because I'm level 93, and they're, lov they're supposed to be uh, uh, they're level 90, so... Hmm... That is really problematic. Like if I if I leveled up to maybe level 100 and I was actually thinking about putting a lot of points into luck because it increases your crit rates and to like maybe I'll get it to like 50 or something. I might do that. And also I kind of want higher uh these 
power level 3 and power form and speed form 3s. But they also have extremely high requirements. So I don't know if I'll be able to get that. So maybe I'll just have to do more <laughs> more off-screen grinding before I can do this. I really wasn't expecting this to be as hard as it was. As hard as it is. Alright, let's try it again and see if I can somehow find a strategy that works. Maybe I can like stay up on that balcony instead of jumping down and see if that does anything. But at this point, I'm not exactly sure if there's anything I can really... I can effectively do here. Or maybe, or maybe I'm just that bad right now. <laughs> that is entirely possible. And I keep doing the power form thing instead of... So if I can somehow kill them one at a time, that's even possible. Like, see, look at that. One grenade kills pretty much my entire party at this level, apparently. That's... <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I do, like, next to nothing to the... <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 yeah, so I pretty much can only do, like, 20% of their HP at a time, so... Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a major problem. And honestly, it almost feels like leveling up won't even do very much, cause since one grenade off of them can one shot pretty much my entire party, including Dane, which has pretty much the most HP out of any characters. I think, well, Stray has a tiny bit more, but Dane is pretty much, like, as tank-focused as you can get. I think Basalt Joe might also be... He's pretty much, uh, pretty tank-focused as well. But it's like, this is as, as tanky as you could get, uh, as I can imagine. And he's still getting one-shotted by one grenade, and and they come at you before you even enter that room, so realistically dodging that uh, those in initial grenades is extremely difficult. So I think as of right now, I'm probably going to have to grind a bit more, unfortunately. I really was hoping that I didn't, but it looks like I'm gonna have to. And also, I'm playing on the, well, I'm playing on the normal difficulty. If I was playing on the extreme difficulty or whatever, they would probably be level 150. So, I'm not even playing that version. <laughs> If they were level 150, I would actually be completely fine with how OP they are. But, um, yeah, I just I just don't know how I'm going to do this. I, I really don't. Or I guess I might have to do some research and figure out how other people have defeated them. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, that that is just simply ridiculous the sniper rifle does 6,000 damage and then the grenade does like 4,000 <laughs> a simple grenade it's like 
<sighs> well, okay. With, with that, we'll we'll end it here. And thank you very much for watching. And hopefully, I'll find out what I what I can do <laughs> at some point. And uh, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>